do that with the tape running, so just a second. Okay, now we are uh, looking at N9 from the other side, just to reorient ourselves here. This is the cut that I was just focused on here. That was uh, the um, <clears throat> column one, uh, a cut from the, um, the middle of column one, the uh, front side right flange. Uh, moving, moving down here to the bottom of, of N9, I'll watch my footing here. There are two cuts on the bottom side, the bottom part of N9. Uh, both of them are actually in the frame here. Zoom in a little bit. Uh, this right here is column two, and we're looking at the bottom of column two, uh, toward and up this way, being towards the top. So this is C2B, um, FR1, that's a cut from the bottom of C2, the front right hand flange. And the final cut is a cut from the spandrel. That is, uh, des that is designated as C2BS1. That would be a cut from the uh, bottom spandrel adjacent to column two. Okay, I'm going to show you the uh, locations of four other cuts that we've made. And th those are going to be the um, last cuts for today's session. This is where we started today. This is N11. I'm going to take you over to C43, which is over here. Okay. All right, this right here is C43. It's actually um, half, half of one column, and uh, we're looking at uh, column three, this is the bottom of column three. You can see the uh, mangled end of this box beam here. And um, you can't really see the cutout from this angle very well, but we know that it's a rectangular cutout and it's the bottom. Uh, over here, peeking out from underneath, you can see some of these connecting plates that uh, connect, connect this to another part of the tree. So here, this is the left side. Over here on the side is actually the top. And over here, we're looking at the bottom, or the, uh, or the inside, I, I guess, the inside web. And then this is the left flange. This is the bottom of the box beam. So the first cut is actually taken from the spandrel. This is... Um, <clears throat> beam, uh, or rather section C43, C3BS1, so that would be column three, the bottom of column three, uh, and a cut taken from the spandrel on the left side. Uh, moving on up towards the middle of C43, okay, right up here. Uh, th this C43 is actually um, broken off about midway through. And this is, again, uh, C43. This would be C3M. That's the uh, third column, middle part of the column. FL1, that is the left flange on the uh, front side. Okay, now moving back a ways. This right here is C16 and we have taken two cuts from C16 um, let's see here this is let me see this is the top do I have that right hang on a second okay sorry about that no uh, we are actually looking at the middle uh, section on uh, C16 uh, this this beam is actually twisted off. Box beam is actually twisted off, or uh, broken off at the middle. The uh, okay, sorry about that again. Okay, so <clears throat> up here, this is the top. 
That is the top of the beam. On the underside, there's a square cutout. Right here is a connector plate that connects it to another series of columns. This is column number three. That's the top of column three. This down here is the middle section of column three. There are two cutouts taken here. The first one is <clears throat> at the end of this uh, long section of flange that has um, ripped along the seam here. It's taken at the very end here. This is um, C16. This is C3TFL1. That's column number three, the top left flange. That's the left side. This is the right side. Coming down here. Actually, come around this way. This is the the top spandrel next to column three. This is C3T.